So most of my chunks of hickory that I want to split down for mini firewood with the Kinlet 200, most of those chunks are a little too big. They're a little too uh, large in diameter. Uh, the max diameter for the Kinlet 200 is 8 inches. So I need to take some of those chunks and split them down with the Wolf Ridge. And what I ended up doing was I used the stroke limiter so that it was only, uh, the stroke was just like, I think the, the spacing was six inches and those chunks were like five and a quarter. So it worked out great to just put the chunk in, hit the auto cycle, it split the wood and then return and stop right there by the wedge. So I wasn't having to manually control the lever splitting those chunks of hickory down. So then things in the woodyard took a little bit of a turn and got a little crazy because Rick came over. Uh, he brought his new Kubota skid steer over and he was going to dig out some of my hillside to make uh, the corner going around the back of the uh, carport a little bit wider. And so he came over with his skid steer and then he needed to borrow my tractor and he left the skid steer here.
So he needed to borrow my tractor. So he came and got the tractor, dropped the skid steer off, um, did a little dirt work over there, like I said, widening the corner around the carport. Um, and now I've got this skid steer that I'm going to be playing with here coming up this weekend to, like I mentioned, I got a few things to move around, uh, but I need to move those. And then, I don't know, it's, you'll see coming up. It's going to be a little complicated, but I think I should be able to pull it off. It's going to be a lot of work though, because I got to basically take everything out of one of the shelters and then move it and then put everything back in. So I'll be talking more about that tomorrow night on the Back 40 live stream. Um, a few other things I'm going to be announcing coming up here, maybe on the live stream, maybe next week. Um, some pretty exciting things happening and coming uh, with the mini firewood. So stay tuned for those. Um, yeah, my plans kind of changed uh, around today, which is no big deal. Um, now that the tractor is gone, um, I won't be able to run the kinlet until uh, Rick brings that back this weekend. So I'm going to do some rearranging with some things here in the wood yard. I'm going to use the skids here a little bit more to uh, level off some ground and do some improvements. Um, and like I said, I have a few things that I'll be talking about on the live stream tomorrow night. Um, <clears throat> and then some announcements coming around the Back 40 Mini Firewood. So stay tuned for those. It's pretty exciting. I'm pretty pumped about it. It's going to be, well, it's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> so with that, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool. Thank you.